A STOLEN PURSE DOESN'T OFTEN MAKE HEADLINES, BUT IN FRANKLIN TONIGHT, POLICE ARE DESPERATELY TRYING TO FIND A PURSE STOLEN DURING A HOME BURGLARY ON MONDAY. CHRIS CONTI JOINS US WITH MORE ON WHY IT'S NOT SO MUCH THE PURSE AUTHORITIES ARE CONCERNED ABOUT. CHRIS? WELL, SHANNON, IT'S THE HUMAN REMAINS WHICH WERE INSIDE THAT PURSE THAT OFFICIALS AND THE OWNER ARE DESPERATE TO FIND TONIGHT. MORE THAN LIKELY WHOEVER STOLE THEM HAVE NO IDEA WHAT THEY TOOK. YOU KNOW, YOU LIVE DOWNTOWN FRANKLIN, YOU NEVER GIVE IT Two thoughts. Joel Tuck is a man who has experienced loss before. That's her senior picture. The kind of loss no father should ever have to feel. That was uh, 2005, January 4th, 2005, and she was 19 years old. He thought that losing his daughter Whitney to leukemia couldn't get any worse. When I pulled into the driveway into the carport, this door was open. Until he walked into his Franklin home on Monday to discover Whitney had been taken from him twice. It didn't catch my attention that the bag was gone right then. It was a little later on that evening. I noticed the bag was gone. They took his TVs. They swiped his liquor. Then they grabbed Whitney's favorite pink purse off a bedroom chair. She loved that purse so much. Joel had her ashes placed inside of it. Just happened to be her favorite purse and uh, where I kept her ashes. First, strangers broke into his home. Then they broke his heart. Things remind you of her. It's just this, this is just it's tough because it's like opening up, dealing with the death again. And, and it's just unnecessary and unsensible and just uh, something we hope that really and truly God touches whoever's heart that did this and will return those ashes. There's no kind of insurance to replace what those heartless thieves stole. She was in my baby girl and... Uh, always had her with me. So that was my goal, to keep her with me as long as I could. And so for the second time in his life, this 50-year-old man is experiencing the kind of loss no father should ever have to feel. I'm just hoping and praying that they really do man up and do the right thing. Unfortunately, Joel doesn't have any pictures of that pink purse. If you have any information that could help authorities, you are asked to give Franklin Police a call. There is a $1,000 reward for the return of Whitney's ashes.